Hi, I'm Andrea. Welcome to my channel. I need more lives. Hey guys, I just want to give you a little update for week five and then I'll show you what I ate this week. Um, my videos are about two to three weeks delayed. So the next video you will see from me will probably be my 10 day water fast. I did water fast. I've had some breathing problems. I wanted to go 21 days. Um, I really wasn't able to do that though because I have a two-year-old to take care of. I don't have family. I don't have friends. So I couldn't be in bed. My husband can't take, you know, work off just because I'm not eating. I wasn't able to go longer than 10 days without just, I was getting very lightheaded. But anyway, my breathing is a lot better. It's not as good as it could be. I'm going to the doctor this evening, about 6.30 in the evening, who does that? And I'm going to see if I can get um, a nebulizer with the medicines. I don't want to be put on any kind of corticosteroids. I don't want to be, be put on that. Someone had mentioned to me that it helps them, but it does put on weight. Uh, my mom is on things like this. She has COPD. Anyway, I'll do an update on all that uh, next week. Um, my breathing still is not good, but it is a lot better, for sure. <laughs> I just, I'm, I'm not healed all the way yet, so I'll need to be doing another water fast if medicine isn't able to heal me. <laughs> so for week five, um, I did get into a little bit of trouble with some sugar-free candy. Um, I had a little too much of the energy drinks. I had two sugar-free energy drinks. These things are not good for you. They're actually really, really bad for you. But sometimes I use them to curb my hunger and to get more energy. That's, that's just what I did. So, <laughs> um, but I don't recommend anybody to like drink these things frequently. I think I had two or three this week. I'll know when I edit the video. But for this week, I did lose quite a bit of weight. I did not weigh in on week four, but I did weigh in on week five, and I'll insert that clip here. Here's my scale. I have no idea how much I weigh either. I haven't weighed for quite a while. Twenty-four four. Let me see how much that is. Okay, so that was quite a good weight loss from week three to week five, because I did a weigh-in on week three. But since I've been water fasting and then eating, you know, losing and gaining five, ten pounds, I'm not even going to stress the weight right now. I'm not water fasting to lose weight. I'm water fasting to heal my lungs. I feel a lot better when I'm not eating, and that's the simple truth of it. And I want my body to have time to heal that. And I, I really wish I had somebody here with me, my mom or, you know, somebody here with me to help take care of the baby. Uh, but I don't. So I'll just have to do it in little spurts. And it is going to affect my weight loss and weight gain. And it is going to go up and down, but I'm fine with that. My number one priority is to be healthy. It's not to be thin. Okay? I... My goal weight is not to be thin. I want to be 180 pounds. I want to be 180 pounds. I don't really want to go lower than that. 177 was like my ultimate max that, you know, or my ultimate less that I wanted to weigh. Because I'm, I'm five foot zero, and at one point in my life, I was bigger around than I was tall. I was 63 inches around my waist, and if you get out a measuring tape and figure that out, that's pretty big. Um, I I wasn't even pregnant. Yeah. That's actually humongous. <laughs> and then I got pregnant on top of that. And yeah, I was huge. You know, working out and losing weight it made my it made my middle smaller and even though I do have a quite a large rump it's not 63 inches around and I want to stress being that big and then losing 200 pounds 
that wouldn't look good. And I don't have money to get surgery to remove skin. Before I got pregnant with Raphael, I weighed 99 kilos. I believe that's 229 pounds or 218 pounds, I'm not sure. But I weighed 99 kilos, so I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Two digits in kilos, but two digits. And then immediately afterwards I got pregnant and gained most of my weight back that I had lost. So my stomach has gone like this and like this. But when I got down to that weight, I, you know, I'm a gamer. We were playing a video game and, you know, moving my arms. Right now my arms are full of fat. So it's keeping my arm from flapping so much that it's slapping me. But, you know, going like this with the mouse, I was noticing that, you know, man, I, I would rather be fat and have this hang off of me and flat, it's heavy. When you lose weight and the skin hangs, it's heavy and it's a, it's a huge burden. Right now I don't notice it so much because I'm full of fat, you know? So my goal weight is 180 pounds. That's where I want to be, that's where I will be comfortable. If I can just get down to 199, I'll be happy, but you know, I have a hard time finishing anything. That's like, I can go nine-tenths of a mile, but I can't get that last couple of steps, you know. <sighs> so, that's my downfall there. So, on with what I ate for week five. I burnt the eggs this morning, so I'm eating them instead of giving them to my husband. I got four fried eggs cooked in butter. There's daddy's eggs. Daddy's eggs. Yep. Yes. This is crock pot chicken and homemade ranch. The ranch is sour cream, onions, dill, and just a few seasonings, salt and pepper and Old Bay. I have four eggs scrambled in butter with cheese on top and a coffee. All right, for lunch I have two pieces of really big romaine lettuce. I have four radish, a couple slices of cheese, and about four little very thin slices of this is picante turkey from the deli. I am having the shot. Taste it. Is it good? Yeah, not even an alcohol on it. <laughs> oh, they probably watered it down and sugared it up. Tastes like grapefruit juice. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Nice old steak there. Thank you very much. Whole pound of it. Whole pound of steak. What happened? <laughs> it's been devoured. Picked it clean. You see the vegetables are still there and the ketchup untouched. All right, my lunch, we're actually sharing this bowl. So I'm gonna have about four or five thin slices of this turkey meat, uh, no sugar in it, no bad stuff, and one or two slices of cheese, and I'm gonna eat about one cup of cottage cheese. I'm having one of these today. These are not good for you, but I have to stay up very late tonight to get some work done, so I am having this. I'm going to eat one slice of cheese, give the other to the baby, and I'm having probably like six, five or six thin slices of this turkey meat. Yep. This is salmon with salt and pepper. You can see the fat on top of it. Pretty fatty fish. This is just a little bit of cream in a cup. Just a little bit. Probably like mm, a fourth of a cup with stevia and vanilla and I'm gonna just eat it from the spoon like it's melted ice cream and that's gonna be my treat. I'm gonna have a few of these probably about four total and an energy drink. <laughs> All right I got some xylo burst sugar-free lollipops 50 lollipops and there's the ingredients I just sat at my computer desk and ate eight sugar-free lollipops at once. Mm -hmm. And 
I have discovered that these are the cure for constipation. I have not eaten anything else today and I probably won't. So next week I'll have the update on how the water fast went, uh, day by day, how my breathing was. I got most days in there. Um, I'm not very good with filming or remembering things. I try to write everything down, but you know, sometimes I don't get to it. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I make new videos every single week. Got some clothing hauls, got this and that. So check out my other videos and my other channels. We make a video every single day on fully living. And I make one video every single week on Fully Cooked. That's my cooking channel. Have a great day. Take care.